Good morning, Cougars. I'm Luca, and today is Friday, February 17th, 2023. And I'm Carson, it's a red day, and today's word of the day is verb. Please, Please rise, rise and join us for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. For today's lunch, we have shrimp poppers with hot roll or Mexican pizza. The premium meal is spicy chicken sandwich. And the sides are sweet potato fries, cauliflower with cheese, fruit cocktail, milk, or juice. For today's lunch, we have beef taco salad, cheese quesadilla, or chicken tinga quesadilla. The premium meal is spicy, is spicy tenders and waffle. For the sides are fiesta black beans, shredded lettuce, diced tomato, pears, cinnamon apples, milk, or juice. Also speaking of lunch, don't forget, please make sure you're wearing your ID when you go through the lunch line so it is quicker and easier for all of us. Plus, the quicker you get through, the more time you will have to catch up with your friends. It's everyone's favorite part of the show. It's joke time. And I have a great one. Why did the Scarecrow win an award? Why? Because he was outstanding in the field. Each month we focus on a character word that we all should try to practice, model, and hopefully make a habit in our daily lives. Yes, we do, and February's character word is honesty. And it means being truthful to yourself and others. We can show this by being truthful with our friends. Listen up, Cougars. Congress Middle School PTA is holding another fundraiser for all of your dinner needs. CMS PTA will receive 15% of fundraiser sales during the Freddy's fundraiser. Please plan to participate on Monday, February 27, 2023, from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. You can participate by ordering digitally or at the Physical Freddy's Restaurant located at 8071 Northwest Roan Ridge Road. To participate digitally, order on the Freddy's mobile app or website using the code GIVEBACK. To participate at the restaurant, tell the cashier of your participation before paying your bill. Thank you again for all your support for our awesome PTA. Listen up, Cougars. Just a reminder that if you are participating in track, to sign up for impact testing ASAP. The last test will be offered next Wednesday, February 22nd. Sign up can be found on the webpage. Listen up, Cougars. Please make sure you are swinging by the lost and found to claim any items that may be yours. As you rummage through to find your items, please try to keep this space looking nice and neat so it's easy to find your lost items. Thank you in advance for checking it out and again, Please do not take anything that isn't yours. Listen up, Cougars. Make sure you are grabbing your copy of the 2022-23 yearbook. They are $35 and can be purchased at www.jostens.com. You will definitely want to relive all of the fun assemblies, dances, concerts, sporting events, and all of the other fun memories that will be made. And you will mostly want to look back at how awesome you and your friends were in 2022 and 23. so make sure you are ordering yours now before we sell out. Hey, Cougars, did you know... That our school has a digital store? That's right. Just scan the QR code on one of the flyers hanging around the school to shop. 10% of the sales comes right back to us here at CMS. So make sure you're checking out the CMS digital store to get your Congress gear and support our school. Listen up, 7th and 8th graders. Are you interested in trying out for Park Hill Dance Team in the future? Then you should attend our upcoming Open Gyms. High school dance team seniors and coaches will lead these open gyms that will work on skills that will be evaluated during tryouts. These open gyms are open to all 7th to 11th grade students. They will be held in the Congress gym during these following times. Tuesday, February 21st, 5 to 6.30 p.m. Tuesday, February 28th, 2.30 to 4 p.m. Thursday, March 2nd, from 5 to 6.30 p.m. And Thursday, March 9th, from 2.30 to 4 p.m. The cost is $5 per open gym, and you do not need to attend all sessions. For more information, check out our Instagram at Park Hill Dance. For today's celebration of Black History Month, we will be highlighting Mae Jemison. Jemison was born on October 17, 1956. Mae Jemison isn't just the first African-American woman who orbited into space aboard the shuttle in Devor. She's also a physician, teacher, and... Peace Corps volunteer. After her work with NS NASA. NASA, she found founded the Jemison Group, which developed scientific and technological advancements. Jemison was a doctor for the Peace Corps in Liberia and Sierra Leone 
from 1983 until 1985 and worked as a general practitioner. In pursuit of becoming an astronaut, she applied to NASA. She joined NASA's Astronaut, astronaut Corps in 1987 and was selected to serve for the STS-47 mission. During when she orbited the Earth for nearly eight days on September 12th, the 20th, 1992. Jemison left NASA in 1993 and founded a technology research company. She later formed a nonprofit educational foundation and through the foundation is the principal of the 100-year Starship project funded by D D DARPA. Jemison also wrote several books for children and appeared on television sev several times including in the 1993 episode of Star Trek, The Next Generation. She holds several honorary doc doctorates and has been inducted into the National Women's Hall of Fame and the International Space Hall of Fame. Jimison continues to work towards helping young women of color to get more involved in technology, engineering, and math careers. Let's watch this short documentary to find out more. Dr. May C. Jemison always believed in following her dreams. In fact, she followed her dreams right into space. Two, one, boost to ignition and lift off of the space shuttle. Born October 17, 1956 in Decatur, Alabama, but calling Chicago, Illinois her home. She always wanted to be a scientist. She believed it was her destiny to one day blast off into outer space. The young May also had a strong talent for dance, studying it from age nine. At age 16, she attended Stanford University on a scholarship studying chemical engineering and African and Afro-American studies. While in her senior year of college, she was deciding between two careers, either a doctor or a professional dancer. She decided to continue on in the medical field. She applied to and was accepted by Cornell University Medical School. Dr. Jemison worked as a general practitioner in Los Angeles, California, before joining the Peace Corps in West Africa. She has also practiced medicine in a Cambodian refugee camp. In June 1987, Dr. Jemison was selected for NASA's astronaut program. Her love of dance followed her into space. She took a poster of the Alvin Ailey American Dance Company along with her on the flight. With a successful launch of the Space Shuttle Endeavor on September 12, 1992, Dr. May C. Jemison became the first black female to travel into orbit. The first thing she saw from space was her hometown of Chicago. Her young dream had come true, and she even danced in space. In March 1993, Dr. Jemison left NASA. She then founded the Jemison Group, which focuses on improving healthcare in Africa. Dr. Jemison has also had a television career. She's the only real astronaut to ever appear on a Star Trek series. She was the host and technical consultant for the series Worlds of Wonder. Dr. Jemison didn't let a lack of role models discourage her. She had big dreams and made them happen. She has been a doctor, a dancer, an astronaut, and a chemical engineer. But most of all, she has been an inspiration. Stay tuned for our show for more influential people to celebrate Black History Month. Hey, guess what time it is? It's time for live trivia. Trivias for this month will be special tribute to, for Black History Month. Let's check it out. Teachers, please open the link sent by Mrs. Vetch this morning. Remember, teachers, you cannot help answer the questions and you must submit the form right after the show. The first question is, what was Muhammad Ali's original name? And your answer choices are Cassius Clay, Casey Stone, Desmond Jones, or Alvin Muhammad. The second question is, who was the first African-American Major League Baseball player? And the answer choices are Hank Aaron, Ken Griffey Jr., Moses Fleetwood, or Jackie Robinson. The third question is, this amendment abolished slavery within the United States or any place subject to their 
Den. And your answer choices are 13th Amendment, 14th Amendment, 9th Amendment, or 12th Amendment. The fourth, the fourth question is, who wrote the best-selling memoir, I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings? And the answer choices are Toni Morrison, Maya Angelou, Langston Hughes, or Alice Walker. And the final question is, who was the first African American to appear on the U.S. postage stamp? And the answer choices are Harriet Tubman, Martin Luther King Jr., Benjamin Banneker, or Booker T. Washington. Make sure you are submitting your answers to all five questions for your chance to win those Cougar coins for, or PBIS points. The winning tutorial will be announced on our show Tuesday. Good luck. And now it's time for your favorite part of the show, the word of the day. That's right. Today's word is verb. Enjoy today's schoolhouse rock after our show. And that's a wrap. I'm Luca, and today is Friday, February 17th, 2023. And I'm Carson, and it's a red day. Have, Have a, a great, great three-day three weekend, weekend, Cougars. Get my thing in action Burn. To be, to see, to feel, to live Burn. That's what's happening I put my heart in action Burn. To run, to go, to get, to give Burn. You're what's happening. That's where I find satisfaction yeah. yeah To search, to find, to have, to hold when I use my imagination I think, I plot, I plan, I dream Turning in towards creation I make, I write, I dance, I sing When I'm feeling really active I run, I ride, I swim, I fly Other times when life is easy I rest, I sleep, I sit, I lie can take a noun and bend it, give me a noun. Basketball, break and plow. Make it a verb and really send it. Show me how. Oh, I don't know my own power. Burn. I get my thing in action, Burn. in being, Burn. in doing, Burn. in saying. A verb expresses action, being or a state of being. Yeah, a verb tells it like it is. I can tell you when it's happening. Past, present, future tense. Ooh, tell you more about what's happening. Say it, so it makes some sense. Oh, I can tell you who is happening. Verb, you're so intense. Hey, every sentence has a subject. Now, person, place, a thing. Find that subject. Where's the action? Verb Take a subject, what is it? What? What's done to it? What, what does it say? Hey, hey, hey. Ooh, I can question like, what is it? I can order like, go get it. When I hit, I need an object. Ooh, when I see, I see the object. Burn, that's what's happening. Ha, to work, Burn, to play, Burn, to live.